Welcome back, my dear friends. Welcome back to ever so amazing, sexy Europa Barbarorum 2, a mod for Medieval 2 to war. And this time around, we will be slowly but surely expanding our borders. Our next objective will be Shabwat. But before all that even, before all that even, we are looking at having a client servant camp of Nairan. How that's actually gonna work I have no idea as it is a completely new thing that I am gonna explore. After all it is an important part of the mod, the exploration of things that you do not know and I don't know that's for sure. Let's zoom in and see our beautiful empire. Not really an empire as of yet we only have additional three regions, but soon we will expand to the Rub of Alkali. Whatever this actual mod represents as a Rub of Alkali. But I'm looking over here what Hadramath is. The Hadramath is actually a coastline part region, and Eremos should actually be the Rub of Alkali. But nonetheless, nonetheless, I wanted to really look at the Great Marib Dam. Because this is one of the most important location uh, for the Saba tribe, as it is the Saba tribe, if I'm not mistaken, the ones that actually created this unique, uh, unique thing. Uh, so again, first local production of farming plus two, population growth plus bonus one percent, income plus or expense plus minus plus minus one hundred. The description. The ruler Sumhu Alayanuf and his son Yadha Amar Bayin began construction of a monumental earthen and stone dam near Marib in the 7th century BC. This dam in the Balak hills retained sizzling rains that fell in the area and allowed for more comprehensive irrigation. It was maintained by a successive generations of skilled Sabaeans and eventually the kings of Himyar. The wall broke for the third and the last time in 5708 D or 570 AD. There you go, demon. It seems that by then the knowledge and skill to repair the dam had long vanished. The dam itself was enormous, especially for the age and place in which it was constructed. Its meticulously block cut stone facing spanned a gap, a gap of 1,800 feet across the path of the Wadi Al Khaunakh. The irrigation system spread throughout the extensive area, using the dam's reserves to water approximately 25,000 acres. Spillways at the sides of the dam had 25 foot thick stone walls with gates and sluices to regulate water outflow. The dam provided the people of Marib with a bountiful crop that was far greater than that of their neighbors. The consistency of the harvest ensured a boost to the local population. Strategy provides of course farming income and population growth bonuses for all factions, but incurs regular maintenance expenses. Yay. So again, a very unique thing. Of course, our beautiful Marib, Mariab, however we're going to actually call the a specific city, which is actually Mariab. There you go. Uh, it has already a few things. We do have a simple road network, which I would expand as soon as possible. And hopefully, it will be possible for Nairan. At the moment, of course, in Nairan we have and no road networks of any type. But again, it, we have a caravan route though. An interesting thing indeed, uh, a building that enables a spy no less. Uh, trade goods bonus plus one, uh, land uh, trade bonus plus or malice plus minus, trade goods bonus plus one minus tributary state, and require for TG bonus if necessary tributary state. Uh, this building represents augmentation of the initial caravan path structure, representing large way station and guard posts. Although time consuming to construct, it will further increase the number of trade goods and the associated tax revenues. 
This structure is only available in the province with nomadic or pastoral region settlements. Of course, as you can see, we have chosen again the client servant thing. We'll see how that's actually going to work for us. In terms of army, our main army and our actually only army in Mardiab, we do have an agent by the way, we have the Samahat Hat Yafish. He will go towards finally proper region of exploration near the enemy or uh, city of Shabwat, which I want to take uh, the entirety of this beautiful region of Hydramat. Oh, Hadramat. Had Hydramat or Hadramat. I'm gonna spit him out just to read exactly Hadramat. There you go. Uh, I do not see really the bad mode, uh, the bad stuff. The more, no, no more enemy armies in Hadramat. So that one army that we completely annihilate was an amazing thing. So this is all they really have, of course. They're gonna probably have, as you can see, Fayar, Safilatin. And they have border trade resource. Interesting stuff. Border trade. Trade good bonus plus one. And of course, a lot of stuff to read. But this is actually quite interesting because something about Medieval 2 Total War Engine. Hmm. We'll talk a look at this after we conquer it. We'll not gonna read everything every goddamn time. I'm gonna read it only when it's really necessary to read. Uh, and exactly when I want to read the damnable thing. The important stuff is, I have no way of constructing anything is afar. In a beautiful Timna, we can actually construct Royal Governor or Client Servant. We're gonna go for Royal Governor down the line. But at the moment, I believe the most important thing is gain a little bit more. We have a poor harvest. We're gonna get for the irrigated farmland or communal farmland. Or, of course, as always, we could build our force and move immediately to Shabwat, await the prince himself. Which would not be a bad thing. I'm gonna also continuously retrain. If I can anything, I cannot. It's okay, my dear friends. Because we'll be taking more of Ayakh Safialatin, proven to be valuable, very valuable, to be honest. And we, again, I'm gonna look at the finances. Okay, 5,286, yeah, that's beautiful, that's of course, of course, we're gonna be recruiting some of the soldiers, that's gonna take a little bit from us, and it's all about the Apki, 197 for the Fayar Safilatin, we have the Nubian, uh, Nubian Ethiopian archers, <laughs> Nubian, uh, our Ethiopian archers, 82 upkeep only, uh, combat bonus in woods, in deserts, and good stamina. Interesting stuff. We do not have one of those at all. Total defense of 9, 13. Again, Fayasa Filatine do have a beautiful also melee attack of 6, 5, and 4 in charging. <coughs> uh, uh, way better than our friends here, the 9. Like armor of 1, armor of 3. A very big difference, I would say. Defense skill of 3, 8. Shield additional, shield of hero 5. Interestingly enough, they, I guess, have better shields. Hmm, interesting. Uh, will we getting those? I have no idea. Ethiopian spearmen. We have, uh, 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 was I calling them Nubians? <laughs> anyway, Ethiopian spearmen. Uh, these guys, 112 upkeep, weapon is crew, 15 total defense, 1 armor, defense skill, and shield of 5, 6, and 7. How beautiful is that? 6-5, there you go. But 197, or we can get some 119. Uh, now, of, co of course, considering this, here we have Achzais, we have some Safiya Latin, and also I tend to forget one more important thing is that I wanted to do, and I made a mistake immediately. First and foremost, leave what forces I have now here. I'm gonna make a watchtower for now near our borders with a, the uh, possible enemy. Of course, the enemy being a massive amount of rebels. A watchtower, thank you very much, just to cover this site. They'll have to go around the mountains, around the mountain range if they're there attack, which they will not. And thankfully, even without the Prince of Faram el-Watar, uh, he, well, 
uh, the Nairan camp and the morale of the people, they're still very content, which is great. Even considering the Maluka, the forces we have here. Of course, we did send two big stacks of quadrupes to guard this place. This is very important, of course, because we need the support. And additionally, we do are going for a client servant thing, so we'll see how that's gonna go. And of course, client servant thing, as I call it, will give us training of Rakabin, Minsarin, Ramatarabi, Asp, and Ahzai. Though no quadrupes, right? Army here, we have Asps, we need. Uh, excellent. Asp, excellent. We'll be able to retrain these bastards. This is an important thing. I'm gonna leave this army as is for now. We'll rebuild and get a new army for the prince himself. And possible heir to the throne, Luhaich Malk Sabah. The bodyguard and pet lion. I would get pet lion. Now, I've never done this, by the way. I've talked about uh, giving retinues uh, to other characters. I don't know if that's actually possible. Like, I have no idea how, how do you do it. <laughs> Sorry, but how do you actually do it? How do you send uh, that retinue and give it to another member? Is that even possible? Like, uh, like... Hmm. Nope. Can I give bodyguard? Yes, I can. Oh my god, I actually gave the bodyguard unit a pet lion. So it was in a pet lion is the thing I cannot give you. But... Plus two pers uh, personal security and plus two develop your general's bodyguards. Excellent. So, wow, actually, wow, I'm like, holy shit, this is the first time I've ever done, done this thing for medieval <laughs> Toll War uh, or any mod for the older titles. I know that this is a normal thing in the newer Toll War games, but OMG. Uh, okay, line of sight, personal secure. I'm gonna leave the Arabian Falcon falconer to the king himself oh this is beautiful so again do we go for uh, infantry getting the infantry back into the well getting more soldiers i'm gonna go fire safilatin i'm gonna get some uh some ethiopian uh spearmen why the hell not and Ahzai are always welcome the morale for them is pathetic i would say unreliable like rakabin uh, Cav, uh, so again, they're gonna run, uh, <laughs> but long-range missiles, and that is always a good thing. Uh, though I would prefer to get more of uh, troops that I could trust in battle. So I'm gonna leave it at the moment as is. I'm gonna leave the Axai, get some better units, and we do have a better unit. Uh, again, get the Ethiopian archers, maybe, as a support. And uh, that's about it, I would say. I'm gonna leave Axai, or maybe even get the Axai, who cares, right? At the end of a day, so let's get the Axai. I'm not, I'm not gonna be a douchebag about it. All of these people are loyal to Saba tribe, after all. So that's beautiful. Again, Retinu expands. Luhayat Malk Saba gains a beautiful thing, the bodyguard unit, which again gives him quite a nice stuff. And our uh, Sabai spy will stay where he is for now. He is a massive range. And next thing is. The diplomat that hasn't done anything in a long while but do remember also that we might now encounter one of the more important allies future allies or even an enemy even an enemy we could follow the road by the way of the Seleucid Empire they are neutral and I would love some possible uh, love with those beautiful people in beautiful Persia Okay, you bring proposition Basilius. Yes, Basilius, Basilius. Um, wealth very poor. Unknown, reputation reliable, power supreme, of course. Allies, Macedonia, Bactria, Hayastan. Enemies, um, <laughs> Egypt and rebels. This is good, because the Ptole uh, Ptolemy dynasty needs to be wiped out by us also, that being the short term. Uh, victory condition uh, trade rights if the thing is about trade rights uh, they do have coastal towns I presume they do garner a lot of Persia 
they should, they should, should, well, I'm saying they do have a lot of Persia, so they should have some coastal town that will connect with my ports. So I'm going to make an offer of that. Barely accepted. And so we have a trade with them, uh, which is great, <laughs> amazing, excellent. I'm ha very, very happy about this. Trade rights are excellent to have, especially for a small tribe at the moment that we are. But Saba will grow over the time. Is there a possibility of an alliance? Or make a, or give a map information, like report balance demanding. Make an offer nonetheless. Rejected. I do not think you would accept in my position. The proposal is beyond our means, and so we must decline. It's okay. It, it is okay. We at least gain the more important thing, which is the trade. And trade, my dear friends, as we all know, is the lifeblood of any thing in life. If you want money, you need to trade. Alliance. I don't think they want to be allies with an unknown. Balance. It's balanced. <laughs> or generous, perhaps. Maybe I can give you a little bit of money. Not like I actually have any money, but I'm going to offer, uh, offer it. Not interested. Okay. It's fine. It's great. We gained the more important thing, and that is trade. Wages. Trade 397. So there is that. Now, of course, I do not know if the trade in terms of like trade, trade, trade is with them now. We have not checked. I have not checked this. So before we ex uh, went with the trade agreement with Seleucid Empire. In terms of just family tree, which we have not seen in a long while, we do have a son of age of 18, a possible heir. We have Farim al Watar, the son of a, an, a, a, an heir, heir to the throne. We'll see how that's gonna go truly, even though we have chosen to La Luhayat Khmalk Sabah to be the one. He has a wife and has two children, a 13 and age of 11. Now, of course, we uh, the uh, beautiful Bin Malik has a son in law, Khalik Bayin, who is actual governor of Zafar. So far, right? So far, I think he uh, and that's that's about it. Uh, it would seem Faram El Watar has uh, no mm, doesn't have children. He doesn't have. He does. Nope. She's age fifteen, by the way. It's a great age. <laughs> so awesome age for you. Uh, okay. So moving again, just to check out. Yes, yeah, Seleucids have to have. They 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 do have a. They must have a port here that's gonna give them uh, and us a nice uh, trade routes. I mean, why would they accept a trade that cannot be achieved, right? And we do see the lines, but I do not see the actual movement from these lines. Uh, can we get that that's a settlement like hmm we'll see we will see exactly there's a blue line there's a white line gray line what line is okay yeah i'm just follow the blue line blue line follow the blue line demon yep going straight into some type of a port probably so yeah we're gaining trade by the ever so amazing uh wow trade here also or is that uh, the wrong line? Who knows, honestly? Like, who knows? This is completely new to me anyway. Uh, so how the trade really actually works in the end of the day with the mod, without the mods and all that. So Hell's Mother Humping Bells. Let's finally end this uh, third and see what uh, the new season gives us. Uh, because I've done everything. We did well with the trade uh, with the Diplomat, which is the important thing. Get some trade with Seleucid Empire No Lands, which I really want to be allied with. And if the Seleucid can wipe out the Ptolemy dynasty, that will be a beautiful thing, because I don't have to waste my people on that. But if if everything goes fine, the more important thing is in the desert itself. The true power lies within the desert, I believe. And if I can get the entirety of Arabia, nothing will stand in the way of the Saba tribe. Of course, rebels will try, they will fail. At the moment, no big group of faction is against us. Compared to the newer to lower titles where you get heavily damaged, though mind you, we are playing in a very hard, very hard, and I I'm thinking that's probably not balanced for the play. Uh, uh, but still, 
Hell's Mother Humping Bells, it's all about survival for how long we can survive. This is also a very important thing to me. Uh, it's survival of the fittest and above all, it's fun. Uh, and in your titles, you always get damaged by, mo by the morale uh, and uh, in the battle. Some any battle or of course with the ever so amazing loyalty of your citizens. So war declares some two groups not liking each other, which is fine as long as we have no problems. So we got our army, a little bit of three nice beautiful units. Uh, faction announcements, trade increase for Halik Bayin. So we talked about the son-in-law, slightly lenient. Minus one unrest has a positive effect on public order. Excellent job, he's a governor no less. Good job, Zafar is gonna be a beautiful place. It's a small village at the moment, but it will grow. It will grow. Uh, retinue expense for Bin Malik Hithamar Amalak Sabah. So he is in Timna. Physician plus one fertility increases the chance of having children no less. He already has one son, by the way. Improved challenges of casually recovering from their wounds. Beautiful job for both of them. Honor to their families and pure love from the king. Get back in. This Faram El Watar is the exact son of Bin Malik. So there is that. In one more turn, we're gonna get the client servant thing. I wanna see how that really works. This is one more important thing that I really am freaking interested in to see how it all works. Uh, so, again, I do have a nice force here. I would go for more, but I think it's time also to build a few things. Like, uh, maybe not here, maybe in Timna. Timna, again, irrigated farmlands. I have not read this, did I? Yes, well, I have not read this one. <laughs> so I'm gonna go for irrigated farmland, communal farmland. Population increase of growth in local production farming incoming plus two. And it is only 1,600 but four seasons. So that's gonna take a while. We of course have the field of games. But I, I, I prefer if I can get population growth and production farming and food. We have seen that we actually have a little bit of a problem. It's improvements, population growth in terms of that. But we have a local farming poor harvest i want a greater harvest greater income population plus will get two things income growth and public order see probably like probably we have unrebanized unrebanized tribal states hellenistic polit okay eastern imperial arid nomadism we're we're kind of minus eight percent we'll see how that's well i mean we will we do not have a priest of any sort or Imam, or whatever how it's called exactly. Uh, so, uh, we're gonna go for irrigated farmlands. <coughs> we have successfully expanded the amount of cultivatable farmland with the clever use of irrigation channels. Our people no longer have to worry about sufficient crops. We can now produce enough to store reserves for lesser times, or to sell to less fortunate people. And this is exactly what Sabbath tribe will do. We don't want to really conquer at the moment all things that we have conquered we are gonna we only occupied with no looting or anything of sorts and after all these people need love and they're not getting it from any little governor of sorts but they're gonna get it from a big faction like ours but not only the peasants and not free should rejoice the production of your own lands has increased significantly as well. Furthermore, the communities now organize their farmlands better and have set clear boundaries between the lands of each clan and house, with local judges and yourself as guarantee. Except for pro preventing sorry, problems, it also allows us to gather more taxes and it also increases the, the tithes, the tits, the tits <laughs> the temples receive. We, the Sabaeans, have been farmers for over thousands of years. From before we rode camels and before we burned incense. We do not risk life in the barren and unpredictable desert. We can trust in the thundering hooves of al to provide us with the seasonal rains that grants us wealth of crops each year. As it flushes from the terraced highlands into the Wadi, our lands produce not just grains, but even the sweetest of fruits such as dates, figs, peaches and apricots. 
We also cultivate beans, peas and purslane to enrich our diet. The seed of many plants we grow are used for the production of oil or spice, such in this case with sesame seed and black mustard. Our lands of course produce much more than food. Merchants from the most distant lands seek our medicines. Finally, we grow flax as well to produce most of our clouds. Strategy. This building represents the production and trade of common essential goods such as crops, common ex textiles, locally sourced building materials that are taxable by your faction. This level represents the, appro uh, the appropriation of pastoral and agricultural land in the central regions for the benefits of the urban elite. This level provides some income from the localized trade in produce and crafts. Population growth will also stabilize in provinces with smaller populations, but as the urbanized population grows more land, will need to be appropriated for the ruling faction. The development of this building chain represents the management of these common goods through taxation and trade tariffs, as method of controlling the means of production, the land itself. The more land a faction controls in a given province, the greater the tax revenue available to it. And the further this building chain is developed and the greater the income from agricultural production for the factional treasury. Which means, yes, take it immediately, build it, it's, it doesn't cost too much, we have a lot of money for everything else. We will, could increase to the high taxes, just to see the difference again, income from 1262 to 1444 and again the terms of public order they're not liking it at the moment at the moment public order really uh, is all about the garrison and the law but uh, tax penalty 25 percent i really don't want to tax these people so much in population growth lowers i'm gonna just go for normal taxes we're not that in need for higher taxes Higher head taxes we do have in our uh, main uh, city, which will I'm leaving it. Uh, Mariab itself is a Sabai capital and a massive city. Timna is a small town. Village is in Zafar, and of course only camp of Nairan. So as it is, mm, I'm fine with uh, the stuff we have now. I'm also very pleased that we at least have a simple road network between all these. Uh, beautiful places though it would seem this far doesn't have the ability for such a thing but I'm waiting for us to increase in terms of population or something because at the moment we have no ability to do anything in the far also there is Bab El Mandeb Red Sea Straits uh, we will read this next time uh, I wish you the very best my dear friends I hope you enjoyed this uh, next time more more drugs and as always um, the ever so amazing Europa Barbara mod for ever so amazing medieval to the world.